there, everybody. It's uh, the Silly Wizard here, back again. After a long time, I would like to say that I am sorry for I have not uploaded in a long time. How long ago was it? Let me see here. Um, I have not uploaded in seven months, and... I've been looking at those months as they've been getting bigger, and one day I just decided to, um, I wanted to change that. Also, something that made me want to change that is that whenever I looked at my most recent video, I was looking at the other videos, and we got, like, videos with 6 views, 7 views, and I looked at my recent video, and it had 261 views, and I just decided that... I, I needed to come back, and, uh, you guys did want to see more of the, uh, Occidental? Occidental Heroes? Don't necessarily know how to pronounce that. So I did kind of forget how to play the game. It has been seven months, as I just said, and I haven't played the game afterwards. So, I will be learning this game again with you guys. This looks new. The first order. Yes, that is what we used to be. Um, so this is the capital in which we were at. Um, so I guess we'll go to the Silky Siren to look for jobs. The Silky Siren's main clientele are the sailors from the town's harbor. The tavern is a rough and rowdy place, and landlubbers are viewed with scorn and suspicion. You ask around about dangerous jobs and need doing. Ask a member of your company to leave. Look for someone to join your company. Go back out to this high street. I think we want to ask for any dangerous jobs. Your attention is drawn to a Solemn looking robed man with a shaved head over a short conversation. He tells you he is a monk from a from the monast monastery of St. Giles and that he needs an armed escort to return there. Alas, I fear my pride or perhaps my idealism has gotten the better of me. Since I have left the monastery, I have been beset by bandits, renegade soldiers native tribesmen, and wild animals. I do not believe I can manage a trip back by myself, so I humbly ask for your aid. I do not have any money on me, but I will be able to pay you 70 gold once we are back at the mon- no, mon- uh, sorry. Will you help me? You tell the monk. I mean, I guess so. We got nothing else going for us. You need to escort the monk to the Citadel in St. Giles, which is a mon- monastery a long way northwest of here. You will be paid once you reach your destination. Making a note of this, you go back to your drinks and consider the new job. Um, so we'll go back to the street and, um, we'll look around at the market, I guess. Um, I guess we'll look at the uh, weapons and whatnot. Um, you are at the armor stalls, browsing through the, the available selection of weapons and armor. This area is less crowded than the rest of the harborside market, which is not surprisingly given the type of wares on display. Ignoring the items inferior to what you already have, you ask about the custom-fitted steel grass, ask about the steel rim to wooden round shield, go back to the harborside market and look around some. Um... Light and unobtrusive, oh no, this custom fitted curious provi provides excellent protection without impending mobility. This is only one custom fitted steel curious for available for sale here. Um, I'm gonna say probably. Give it to Wizard. 
Wizard takes the Halbergen, pays the armor at 59 gold, and takes the custom fitted steel curious. Confident it will make him more effective in combat. With the armor already turning in turning to another potential customer, you look around the armor stall for some more. Um, how much is the wooden shield? Alright, so we'll get the wooden shield for twenty-seven. Um and then I guess we will map. So we're trying to get to where are we trying to get to? Alright, somewhere north of west. So we're going to go out. I guess we're just going to travel along the road until we Oh no. Ads. We're gonna go travel along the road until we find somewhere northwest. And that is a lot of food we're using. The gate. Okay, what's that issue here? You were stopped at the Barbarican of Ahertz Crossing. The port Colus is raised, but the small bridge fort is guarded by heavily armored soldiers and covered by archers patrolling the battlement. A sergeant steps forward, looks you over, and says, On the order of the Viceroy, an official permit is required to cross this bridge. You ask about how would one get a permit, and the sergeant is surprisingly helpful. Well, the proper way would be to petition the Viceroy for the permit at the, provis the Provisial Palace in Ahertz Beacon. Not many permits are granted, though. It could be a wasteful trip. Uh, noting the phrase of the reply, you turn back and stay on the side of the river. Um, so I guess we will go north. See if we find anything there. There was a small little town right here. El Tevet is a rather small fishing village on the eastern shore of the continent. The inhabitants make a lot living mostly by shipping their catch southward to Ahertz Beacon or to the various inland mining communities up north. Several small boats line the harbor, but it is clear even to landlubbers that these are not ocean-going vessels. Trying to ignore the tang of brine and fish guts, you... Um... We'll go to the headmaster's house. You ask for the headman who agrees to see you. It is clear your fame has preceded you, and he appears very grateful for your offer of help. In your estimation, the headman seems an ordinary but straightforward man, and soon you are discussing matters over cups of ale. You offer your services and inquire about dangerous jobs that need going. Why, there is indeed something you can do for me, but I won't lie to you, it will be dangerous. Tell the headman that it's just the kind of work you were looking for. And he nods, continuing. There is a group of arm army deserters in the countryside, robbing ev anyone they can find and hanging those that give them trouble. I have sent pleased every army garrison in the area, but they didn't even dignify me with an answer. But I, what I need is someone to track these bastards down and deal with them. When you express your concerns about getting in trouble with the army, he interrupts you with a... Oh, wait, that's not him speaking. When you express your concerns about getting in trouble with the army, he interrupts you with a dismissive gesture. They are wanted men, and desertion is punishable by a one-way trip to a penal colony uh, or the, gall the gallows. You would be doing a favor both to us and the army. Once you return, you will be paid a hundred gold. What say you? I guess we'll find them. The deserters are somewhere in the full southwest of Cosgrave Point which is a hamlet for north of here. You should search around this area to find them. Making note of this, you leave. Um, southwest at Grace Point. All right. Um, so we're going to restock on food. Um, and then we are going to leave. Look at the map. Congrave Point. So we want to go to that village over there. Or not the village. We want to go underneath uh, Bessenberg. Um, where are we currently? Oh, okay. Um, merchants. You have come across a merchant caravan. Their wagons are filled with various goods destined for the markets in one of the cities, but they are willing to trade with you. Ignoring the suspicious looks from their armed escort and keeping in mind you have 
101 gold. You buy some of that. And then... Trade that in. Alright. Um, and then we go on our own way. And we continue up north. Where are we now? Oh, there's something right there. Hunt down the Zers, the forest. You come upon the gang of the Zers you were hired to hunt down. They are well armed and well trained and have been brutalizing anyone they have been across. Which is why you've been, you're being well paid to wipe them out. Where are you being spied by their look at you? Attack, I guess. Um, oh, I forgot we had the monk with us. I also forgot we had four people. You know, select like, uh, okay. Um, you move up there, you move up there, you move up there, you move up there. The monk is going to stay back here. This guy is going to slowly move up. Does that guy have a bow? I'm not sure, actually. Um, no, wait. Okay, he's going to get in combat range. That was a mistake. Oh, no, he does have a bow. Alright, he's going to leap up there. He's going to move up there. He's going to get right there. He's going to hit him. He's going to move right there. He's going to move right there. He's going to leap forward. Move up. Hit him. He's going to take a hit. Move up. Move back, I guess. We're gonna hit both people. And then that should be a victory right there, I would think. He's gonna slide over. He's gonna move up. He's gonna hit him. He's gonna hit him. He's just gonna stand back. Slide over. Move, hit him. That's that. Alright, there we go. Victory. That wasn't too hard. Um, so the Zerters have been dealt with. Although they were, whether they were soldiers, it's very unlikely anyone will object to their fate. To get your reward, you should go see the headman in the headman's office, the headman's house in Altavet, which is a hamlet some distance south of here. You take a future of these and then leave. All right. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna go collect our earnings, and then yeah, we'll be on our way. We have to go and escort that monk, wherever that is. Um, I'm gonna go to the headman, take my leave, and we're going to restock Max. Um, then we're going to leave, and then we're going to try to see what we can do with this monk. Okay, we can't cross the river. That makes enough sense. Maybe we'll try to go south, although, yeah, we suck here. Mm. Alright, yeah, um, restock, do so, we're good, go back, head out. Um, let's see where this... Monk could be all oh, okay. Uh, there's some cultists. Oh, I didn't read that. Sorry. It is clear to the cultists that you know nothing of their fate and that you are trying to trick them. As you stumble ahead with your story, their leader grows ever more grim before finally interrupting. Enough! You will not poison us with your lies and blasphemy. You were given a chance to repent and accept the guiding hand. But now it's clear you're an apostate and must be judged. He and his followers draw weapons, so you have no choice but to prepare for death, for a fight to the death. Oh, what is this? Um, okay. So I guess my two soldiers here are going to go up first. That seems reasonable. So they're going to move up. Gonna get shot, that's alright. Um, 
I, I, I hit the wrong guy. Um, now move up, move up, move up. That guy's getting beat up. Yeah, no, this is like a very bad position right now. Yeah, okay, that seems pretty good. Hmm, that, that, okay, um, that, 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 alright, so we should be fine now. It was just that was a little bit tough right there for, yeah, that was just a bit tough. Um, and then, yeah, we got trapped, alright, there it is. And that is a victory right there. Haha. <laughs> um, so we got a little bit of loot, and then we will continue our way. I don't know where to look for this monk's area. Deserters? Oh, you're stopped by a group of soldiers. They look unkempt, and their stances give off an impression of slackening of discipline. Their leader steps forward and says, You are traveling on an imperial road. A road tool is due, and you are to be searched for contraband. You're reasonably certain this is not an official checkpoint, and that these men are most pro probably deserters trying to rob you. They are, however, former professional soldiers, and not knowing how many of them are nearby, picking a fight might be dangerous. Um... The leader of the deserters listens to your warning, his frowning expression slowly turning into an ugly leer. Oh, alrighty then, we'll wait for them. Till get here, there is enough time for you to hand over everything you have. As if on cue, they suddenly draw their weapons and you have no choice but to fight. Alright, so this will definitely be a much better place for me. So you got one archer... One swordsman, one heavy. Alright, uh, we'll see what we can do about that. Uh, the monk is going to stay back. These two people are going to rush in. The swordsman behind them. It'd be interesting if like this game had like different traits for these people. Because I'm pretty sure they don't. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't spent too much in this game, like I said, but I'm pretty sure they don't, and it would be amazing to see if, like, that were to be a thing, um, but yeah, that's just my own personal idea right there, like, it would be, like, cool, like, have your people train to have, like, special abilities, which they can master, Ooh, he's gonna get double hit right there, which is really nice, He's also gonna get double hit, and that should end it. Yep, there it is. My the like the two-handed people, I think, are clearly the best. They can't do as much damage, but they definitely or they can do a whole lot more damage, but they don't have as much strength, so to speak. Yagai encounter? You come upon a group of native Yagai warriors. They look hungry and dirty, but they are far from being a pitiable sight. You become intensely aware of their cruel-looking weapons and murder stares as one of them steps forward and begins to talk in broken imperial. You are trespassing, pay tribute, or die. From the way they are looking at you, you sense that you do not have much time. So resisting the urge to correct their spokesman pronunci pronunciation, you refuse to give them anything, prefer to, to fight to death, try to talk them into letting you pass unmolested. Pay tribute of 12 bits, and yeah, I'm not paying any tribute, and that's what I thought. I'm going to die. Well, I'm not going to die. They're going to die, because, you know, I don't ever die here. I would never die. Dying is not in my name. Um, so my two, or my four people are going to rush up, just like normal. And, like, I don't normally have a strategy whenever I'm going into, um, 
attacking. Like, I just normally, like, move them until they get to the place. Um, this game isn't very difficult. I wonder if there's a way to change difficulty at all. And if so, uh, somebody please do tell me, because I, it would be great to have this game at least a little bit more difficult. Because it's a very fun game, but it is also a very easy game to play. And, like, easy as in it's not... It's not too easy, like hard to lose. I did lose once before when I was playing off camera before I started to do mobile games with YouTube, but that was just completely my own stupid mistakes, and that was me just getting impatient and not actually trying to like win and beat the game. It's an ad. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I really don't know where to look if I want to like look for this monk at all. Um, I'm not sure, because, like, I finished up, so complete this job, take the monk to the Citadel in St. Giles, which is a very long way northeast of here. Like, where is St. Giles? Um, I'm thinking probably, like, where we found those bandits, so I guess I have to go all the way back up there. Which I should have like learned. Um, trying to figure out what all this means. Come near view. Okay. Um. Cause like they have levels, so I don't know what that means. Um, alright, so I'm going to leave, and I guess we're just going to go and try to go to the northeast, then I guess. I was going to say, and hope that we don't find any trouble, but that just happened. Um, well, I guess we're fine. Uh, alright, so we're going to leave, and then we're going to try to go as quickly as we can back up to the northeast. Refugees, you have encountered a group of refugees dressed in rags. Im... Im... Case... Sure. And many with obvious injuries. They are a pitiful sight. You cannot tell how they had come to be in this state. But there are plenty of possible causes in this dangerous and unforgiving land. You can tell that they are wary of you. So you decide to... Approach them and give them 35 gold and 5 bundle supplies to each... Well, no, because I need these supplies, so I'm just going to, uh, let them do their own thing. Oh, shoot. Um, you stay well clear of the refugees and whatever misfortune have befallen them. When they realize you're not going toward them, they seem to relax, so you guess they have been mistreated by others while on the road. It is unfortunate that a fellow human being would find themselves in a situation like these wretched souls, but times are hard and there is not enough to go around for selfless acts. Throwing wary glances at each other, you and the refugees each go their own way. So, we haven't had any trouble yet. So, that's a nice thing. I should have probably got bundles there, pocket bundles here. Or, food here. Um, so, restock on food. 37, I have... How much do I have left? 133 gold. And that'll do just nicely for now. Um, alright, so let me see, which is some distance northwest, so it's a little bit northwest, so I wonder if it's like, there it is, alright, oh, it's a bear. No, oh, screw it, bear doesn't scare me, let's go kill it. I fought some bears before, had to uh, save some hunters, actually, I can't even go that way, oh, this is tight. Oh, this is really tight. I don't like this at all. Um, what do these even do? Not everyone can keep cool head in a crisis. The prime doesn't yet have to. Like, I don't know how you can make that. So I think we have the two armored soldiers go up here, and then the two uh, double soldiers are going to stay down here. And then these guys are going to flank them. Or flank the bears. Flank the bear. Yeah, that's definitely not one. If there's more than one, that'd be absolutely horrible. 
So, fly like the wind, guys. Alright, that's 9 damage, I guess, so that's alright. I wish I could keep him there, but, you know, he's restless. Um, he's gonna move there. That, and then... That, 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 that. Um, so swordsmen aren't even gonna be participating in this because I didn't realize it, it would take them so long to get there. But like, like I was saying, guys, that was only two people to fight that one, like, bear. So I would expect that to be a whole lot harder. So if there is a way to change the difficulties, please do let me know. St. Giles, you have been allowed entrance into the main courtyard of St. Giles Fortress Mon Monastery of the Order of the Inner Light. <laughs> You can see heavily guarded, heavily armed monks patrolling the battlements while their less martially oriented brothers go about their daily tasks. Censoring that your presence here is merely tolerated, you get to sit at your job and get your reward. Well, I mean, why would I leave if I have my reward yet? The monk tells you to wait and soon he, he, and soon he returns with the promised seven eagle. I would appreciate your discretion in this matter. This money is what I have saved out of my allowance, and I had been warned not to travel on my own. You take the money and keep wondering what other secret monks keep from their brothers. Um. Yeah, ask to enter. After a brief conversation and longer wait, you're about to see the prelate. Your fame and past accomplishments seem to be well known here. An experienced leader of men and a lord in all but name. The prelate quickly sizes you up and asks what brings you to his monastery. You offer your services and whatnot. The prelate tells you what he needs you to escort one of the monks all the way to the monastery of St. Keithias. These are dangerous times for the pews men and our brothers. And our brother will be carrying some rare manuscripts. It could be very unfortunate if they were to be damaged by some ruffian looking for gold. I am reluctant to send some of our warrior brothers as an escort, for they are not used to traveling, and they would have to make their trip back alone. He looks you over and nods. Oh, he looks you over and nods to emphasize his confidence in you. I am certain you will conduct our brother's safety to Saint Kithia's. Once you get there, you will be paid ninety gold and will be free to go your own way. Will you do this for me for us? You reply that you will make sure the monk reaches Saint Kithia's safely. He will have to find no, we'll do it. Um you're introduced to a meek looking middle aged man. He carries a case full of scrolls on his back and is ready to travel immediately. This is our brother, who is to travel to the citadel in Saint Kithia's which is a monastery a very long way southwest of here. You will be paid in full once you arrive there. You greet the monk, then leave it down. Alright. Um. Ah. That's. So we're going to go there, I guess. And I'm running really low on food, so I need to get food. I just cut it there, but that's alright. Um. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to restock. That's gold right there, but that's fine. Um, how much gold do I have left? Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, so we're going to leave. We're going to go stop at the main place. Oh, uh, okay. Bandit encounter. Um, you come when a, uh, well, you come upon a group of dirty men brandishing weapons and looking you over with professional interest. Oof. You come upon a group of dirty men brandishing weapons and looking you over with a professional interest. Their leader steps forward and demands you pay a toll for passage through what they claim is their land. It seems clear that there this is no man's land and that these men are just trying to rob you. With the bandolier getting impatient, you fight them. Because I know that the other one isn't going to work. It never has, never will. Uh, no. Okay, now I don't. Um, what do we got to deal with? Uh, one shield, one heavy, and a bowman. Okay, that's fine. And then we got another monk with us, which is going to be ultimately useless, because that is how they beat, though. Um. Uh, 
that one hurt. Going to lunge forward, going to hit him, going to move forward, he's going to hit me, he's going to lunge forward, he's going to move up, he's going to get shot, he's going to lunge forward. He's going to hit him, he's going to hit him, that's going to happen. Okay, move up, hit him, move up, move there, hit him, hit him. Move there, move there, lunge, death. Alright, that is another victory right there. Okay, we got a couple more things. We're gonna go down to the city. Hello there. We're going to see if they have anything that we can buy here. Yeah, sell our loot. Um, restock on food. Um, and look at the armor's market. Okay, um, pretty good shield. I'll swap it for that. Um, let's see, Morning Star. Oh, it's a mace. Okay. Um, I've wanted to trade the weapons for the Morning Star. And then we're gonna head out. Go down. And of course, there's somebody on the bridge or cultists. Gonna fight them. Um, oh, oh, I forgot the bridge. Okay, that's fine. This one was a whole lot closer than I would have liked it to be. I almost lost somebody here. Um, and yeah, I definitely don't want to lose anybody here. Okay, and then that's game right there. Victory. Alright, uh, so where is this place now? A very long ways west. Okay, so it'll probably be like next to the um, Rocks Crossing. So let's go over there as quickly as we can. Of course. And there's another bridge. We gotta get a permit. Is there any way around the river? It doesn't look like it. Okay, um, now I'm just wasting food. Alright, so we're going to get some refills, sell our stuff, uh, check the store, there's nothing there. And I think we are going to end this episode here, guys. Um... So if you guys would like to see me play more of this, comment down below and, um, like, put a like on this video. Uh, because the more likes that we have, the, uh, the more that I want to know, like, that you guys want to play this. And there's a rune down there that we might have to check, uh, next episode at the very bottom. Um, so like I said, if you guys want to see me play more of this, please do let me know, because I do love this game. I just, uh, like, it'd be great if the developers made it so, like, um, characters could have more, uh, skills. Uh, if you want me to play another game, uh, comment that down in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to check it out. It's a mobile game, uh, I should be able to check that out. Um, I'm trying to, uh, get, like, I'm trying to, like, make a, uh, a system where I can use Mixer to record videos, um, on my Xbox, so I might be coming out with Xbox videos soon enough, I'm not sure, though. Um, so, that might be a development that's coming up, although I heard that Mixer is also going away for Xbox, so, even if I do get, I won't be making too many videos, because I'm sure that that's going to be gone sooner or later. Um, so if you guys do want to see more of this, please like, subscribe, peace guys.